if we just do these two. This one I've had for a while. This was this is a limited edition uh, promo set. You had to purchase over a hundred from dollars worth of Lego from the Lego store. Number one says, see what Germans do is not rush things, so they make it right the first time. Yes, exactly. They were definitely rushing things out, and yeah, but I don't even know how you not notice that that so so many of the keycap stems are tilted. How do you even not notice that? You know what? Maybe what they did was they were testing it on box switches. That would explain so much. So. so Let's do these two for tonight. You know, we'll, we'll put this out. We'll make it like a. Oh, uh, I guess this will be my my only Christmas deg. Uh, my my second piece of Christmas decoration, other than this guy right here. Let me go heat up some food, and I will be back. That's kind of disappointing. Uh, so I bought this chicken spaghetti thing or whatever. I don't even know what the hell it was I got. And it has olives in it. I did not notice the olives. Uh, I'm not a big fan of olives. And it's got a lot of olives in it. I, I don't know how I feel about olives in my chicken spaghetti. Any signature plastic confirmed? Yeah, it reminds me of, of uh, well, at least signature plastic doesn't have tilted stems, right? At least not on their, I guess, probably on the PPT stuff, maybe. Signature plastics, PPT stuff has a lot of warp, that's for sure. Yes, enough. yes, NGB's wife made this, and so they sent it here. Very kind of them. Oh yes, don't forget to check out Chokan's YouTube channel. I saw he posted something earlier today. Elf is amazing. Yes, it's pretty nice. She even got this little. Cause yeah, other people got their elves, but none of the other ones had the keyboard on them. So. She made quite a few of them. She had a whole army of the elves. NGB took a picture, but yeah, this was the only one with the, with the little keyboard on there. I do not have a link to her store. I did ask NGB about that. He said that she's going to set up an Etsy soon. So I don't know when that's going to happen though, but...
Should probably change the stream title, huh? Let me do that. So for those of you who were here just for the the keyboard unboxing, thank you, thank you for being here. But right now we are. I'm gonna have dinner first because I haven't eaten yet. It's 9 p.m. already. Let's see, Lego build. What is this? This is. See, it says right here, limited edition. Look at that. What is this thing even called? Is there no name for it? There's literally no name for it. Let me see if I can find a name for it. Yes, NGB, we were just talking about it. Uh, Chokan was asking for a link to your wife's Etsy, but I don't know if yeah, that's happened yet. 40292. Is this his Christmas gift? It's really all caps Lego, right? Lego build. This is. Four zero two nine two. All right. Oh, is there a brick build? I don't think there's. So we makers and crafting. Tag would be Oops. Yeah, it just literally literally just says Christmas gift. That's it. Apparently that's it. So no ribeye or a fried cod, smoked salmon for me. It's just some uh, <laughs> weird ass chicken spaghetti that I got from the store for five bucks. And yes, to my horror, there are olives in here. These olives aren't that terrible. I don't really like the way they smell though, it's kind of funky. Okay. Yeah, let's go ahead and... So this is the, the set. Thank you for the link, AXM. Do you have one pieces? Limited edition. So this was a free gift with a hundred dollar purchase from the Lego store. Pretty cool. It's a it's a little Christmas gift box that you can open up. It's got this kind of tiny living room. Probably to uh, true to scale for uh, the the typical apartment in New York City. Literally just a box. VPR, you made it. We just unboxed the COD 67. So, what are you doing right now for Christmas, by the way? I know you, you didn't end up making the drive, right? So, what? What to be the plan? Oh my god, this box. 
I thought about holding on to this because the price goes up quite a bit for these uh, seasonal sets, limited edition sets. But, nah, it's not gonna go up by that much. Let's probably leave the box somewhere, right? see it just got back from craziness that is target was target open until so late I was there at target too I mean not not the target that you went to of course but I was at target earlier this afternoon Open until 10. That's insane. Gonna bake some cookies for Santa, my daughter. Gonna, my dad's in Fort Worth tomorrow. It's pretty nice. What kind of cookies? Just chocolate chip, sugar. Tom Tom was open too. Yeah, everything's, everything's gonna be close. I guess tar uh, that means Target is still open right now, damn. Oh wow, you don't see this often. These two pieces weren't even bagged, look at that. Little booklet for it. As you can see, the official LEGO recommendation is to sort the pieces out before you build the set. Something that I actually don't think I have ever done. I know some people really like doing that. They like to sort pieces out and then take a nice picture and then post it on the Lego subreddit and shit. You know, people like doing that. So they'll, they'll arrange everything neatly according to, you know, the, the color and the type and everything and the length. I have never done that. I, 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 I really don't think I have ever done that. I don't think I would. I will start doing it either. So it says I have quite a few unbagged pieces in the Harry Potter set. So God recently got the Harry Potter Great Hall set. He should put some. He should put the pictures here. I know he posted on, or at least he sent the pictures to me. But he should put some of the pictures here. Uh, I got the same set for my brother and his wife for Christmas. And they have they they're not building it until they move, so it won't happen until next month, unfortunately. Okay, you're gonna have to excuse me. And I picked the worst food to, to eat on streams. So I might just do this in the kitchen or something. Cause it's like some weird. Look at this. This this does not look appetizing at all. <laughs> I don't know why I picked it. Uh, what was it? Oh, I was in this. I was at the store. Okay, and it was a it's a crazy Christmas rush. I just picked whatever did not look horrible.
Wow, that spaghetti was weird as hell. <clears throat> really funky. Uh, <laughs> it was just a sloppy mess is what it was. What's the volume unboxing? Yeah, for sure. VPR, so we've also figured out why they had two diffusers. They didn't spill any food, right? Nope. Uh, one of them doesn't fit. Most sets are small enough that you don't really need to sort out the pieces. Yeah, even, even at the bigger sets that I used to have, I never bothered um, arranging them. And, and this was back in the day too, back when things weren't actually sorted into these bags like that. And cause a lot of bigger sets these days, the instruction booklet or manual will actually go like, basically the bill will be split into different parts and the bags will be tagged with, with, with like number one, two, three, four, stuff like that. According to which part of the build you're working on. Whereas older sets did not have that at all. Everything was a mess. And yeah, even then I didn't bother arranging anything. Or sorting pieces out. God, what about you? Did, did you did you sort any of the pieces out for the Harry Potter set? Or did, did, did you just get right into it? Oh my god, this color is so nice. I've never seen... I mean, it's just because I... So I, uh, growing up, I used to play Lego a lot. I had a lot of Lego sets when I was growing up. Well, not not because it's, it wasn't just me. It was me and three other brothers. So, you know, we had a lot of Lego sets. And combined. Yeah. And, and then I stopped for over a decade. And so a lot of these new colors, I, you know, they are actually new to me. And so this color, this color I have never seen. Look at that. That is a beautiful color. Oh my God. It's like a Tiffany blue. Look at that shit. That is incredible. Another one. Yeah, I have not seen this color uh, in the Lego set. I'm gonna buy things. All right, see you, Chokan. Have a good rest of the Christmas season, you and your family. Numbered bags so easy. Don't like being too efficient. Anyways, goes too fast. The thing is sorting. There. See, that's the thing though. I don't sort because it takes too much time. At least that's what I think. I think that I think that I'm faster just going at it. Really, I don't. I think that sorting actually is. No, the thing is that if you sort as in, okay. So when I say sort, I mean like arranging everything neatly, not like just piles and piles and piles. Because what people would do is people would arrange them one by one and then take a nice shot of everything. But if you just push all the colors together, then you know, that would be better. But yeah, so as in people do it for for like, like what do they call those things now? When when you know you're going out and then you have your your everyday carry and your clothes and everything, you sort them all neatly and then you take a picture. People like doing that. Man. Talisman solutions. All right, I hope you have a great rest of the night and a good Christmas. Maybe we'll see you. Here in chat tomorrow. Flat lay is how it's called? I don't know. I never do that, so I wouldn't know. I'm ripping everything open. Then again though, I mean I've never built like to like any UCS sets and like that, so who knows? Oh my god.
at this two-faced bitch right here. It's a very wholesome treatment, isn't it? So of course it's a guy in a checkered flannel shirt with some denim. Because who doesn't wear that these days? I've been actively avoiding uh, buying a flannel shirt because everyone wears that. I don't even dress like a hipster or anything, but. Okay. Save those signed Lego pieces. You, yes, we could. This, this is actually really close to Tiffany Blue, at least from just looking at it. Uh, Chicken Necro definitely is not like Tiffany Blue though, that one is just, that one's kind of all over the place. Ooh, this color I've never seen too. Look at that. Let's see how they compare. And we've got this, that's the daughter. That's pretty cool. Look at that. It's got the classic space guy. Yeah, so unless something happens, maybe I will just stream until midnight or uh, midnight Eastern time. Because why not? It's Christmas. Oh, this. Wait, what? Oh, you get different hairstyles. I see. So I guess you can choose between having a son or a daughter. This color I definitely remember. This this was around when when I still bought Lego back then. This is supposed to be the We can put the U log on the loader now. We're not reviewing anything. It's too loud. This is supposed to be a toy train. Anyone here into model trains? I knew someone in college who was super into model trains. If GMK was smart, they wouldn't make their own colors. They just melt down Lego pieces. Hey, there we go. That would be expensive as hell, though. My grandpa's into model trains. Has set up that covers entire garage. Holy shit! That sounds like a almost like a lifetime collection. That's or he just <laughs> spent a lot of money in one go. That's that's pretty insane. 
Do you know if do you do you, so did did he talk to you much about it or did you ask him much about it? So I I don't know why I did it, but I did talk to that guy about. So that guy and I didn't really get along, but I did ask him about his model train stuff. And yeah, so he told me about the different scales and about how, you know, that's kind of the the big hoo-ha in the hobby. Because when you, when you commit to a scale, you commit to it. And then you buy you know, tracks and models and, and accessories and all these, you know, human figures and whatever to go with that scale. Trees and shit. Uh, And then so I asked him which one he preferred, what's the most popular one, what's his opinion. I don't know why I did it, but I did, and he talked for way too long. I did listen to all of it though. I uh, I will say being a conversationalist is definitely something that you can learn. Because I know I definitely practice just listening to people talk about things and you can definitely tell when people have not you know worked worked on that at all because I used to I used to work at the music library and so you know I would meet a lot of basically every day was just I would talk to musicians and stuff like that and I had, a, I had a good friend who was a pianist and a violinist and so whenever she would mention the piece that she was working on you know she's practicing some piece I would actually ask her about the piece and then she would talk she would tell oh yeah this was written by so and so this thing and it's cool because of this and then I would actually ask her oh, okay tell me more about this person whatever I should go on and on and on and on and on and on and I tell me about all these things and and I mean on one hand I care just because why not you know like why not learn about something new but on the other hand you know it's not like it's something that I'm gonna really it's not information I can use anyway but But when I would mention something, she would just be like, oh, oh, okay, oh. Not sure if that's anything to do with her being homeschooled though. Probably it. And yes, just like what, what, you, what you say, God, yeah, definitely about listening and then not even about asking amazing questions, but just making sure that things keep going. And he, he, I know when I first started just uh, practicing, just listening, I know I remember thinking, oh my God, why am I doing this? You know, uh, I'm just torturing myself. But then eventually, you know, you start to just appreciate just new information. So that's what I like. That's why I, I really don't, when some people think, oh, are you, are you just pretending? Are you just... You find this boring. I'm like, ah, most of the time, no. Most of the time, I actually, actually, I'm curious about these things, and you know, it's like, why not absorb some new information? Oh, so did it, Grandpa did it 20 years ago. Didn't remember much because I was too young to understand. Love playing with it though. Man, that was nice that he actually let you play with it. I, uh, I don't know, if I if I had a crazy collection, I don't know if I would let my grandkids play with any of my stuff, honestly. I'd let them look. I would not let them touch any of it.
isn't he kind person see I did not know my grandpa well at all I one grandpa I never knew at all he died you know I think before I was born or whatever and then my dad's dad that grandpa I didn't really know well even though I used to go see we, we would go visit him almost weekly and uh, just never really spoke to him and he was a very he was a man of few words though he when he would call my my dad or, or whatever you know just be like are you guys doing okay okay all right bye that's it like he would call that's it just you doing okay okay all right bye I do remember though uh, and, and I've actually written an essay about when when he when he passed away and all the drama that was involved because his last few years of us he was bedridden and was in a coma for I think it was at least two years or something like that or a year or two it definitely has to be at least a year and Yeah, so I remember before all that happened, I do remember him coming to visit us uh, at, you know, my parents' place, and he was walking around the, the swimming pool area with, with, my, with my dad, which is something I don't see often at all, as in, like, again, my grandpa just doesn't talk much, and... And I remember, uh, he found out it was almost my birthday, and then so he gave me, I think, like 200 ringgit. So like 200 ringgit right now would be about 50 bucks or so. And so I literally never received any gifts from him before, any sort of, you know, money. Never, ever, never, ever. And he found out, and this, so the, yeah, this was, this was. Like uh, a, a year before he, around a year before he was struck by pneumonia and and all sorts of other shit. Because he was diabetic for many, many years and then pneumonia hit and then it's just, you know, when you're old, your diabetes, uh, when anything just happens, it just balloons out of control. It's just a cascading... mess but yeah but all that was to say that I unfortunately did not uh, know my grandpa very well none of my relatives I didn't really talk to any of my relatives uh, we were we were kind of of, of a weird family everybody says that's like me and my dad same deal not a man of many words for sure. Someone says, model trains remind me of keyboards. I might get some model trains soon. At first you think everything is super expensive, then you realize some of those trains are awesome. Yeah. I mean, that's that's a lot of hobbies, right? It's like, what the hell? Why are you paying so much for this? And you realize, oh my God, there's actually so much work that goes into it. Because I didn't know the rest of my relatives well at all either. Yeah, whenever we would go visit our relatives, like Chinese New Year, that's why I hate it. Family reunions, I think I mentioned it earlier. Uh, in the stream because we would not talk to anyone like all of us all the grandkids you know so me and my as in not all the grandkids only my dad's children so as in the five of us siblings we would just be and so you know when at the reunion dinner for Chinese New Year we would do hot pot or steamboat and it was actually it was actually honestly kind of sad because so we would do the the hot pot thing right my grandma would be the one doing almost all the cooking and everything and the prepping and every year my mom again this would be you know the daughter-in-law 
my mom would go help out and she would be the only one to go help out sure my grandma had some some maids or you know house servants what, what do people call those now uh, there's another more politically correct term for it now apparently and anyway so my mom would go help out and And then because of how big my family was, the, the the main dining table cannot fit everyone. And so my grandpa, grandma, so my grandparents, and then, you know, my dad, my uncles and aunts or his siblings would all sit at the, 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 the big, the adults table or whatever. And And so it's kind of like a status thing, right? Where, you know, the adults are sitting at the table, blah, blah. And then you graduate from this second table to that table. But my mom had to sit at the second table with the, with us. And with the maids or the servants, or household servants, what they call it. And whereas my uncles, so my cousins, you know, were about the same age as I am, would sit at the adults table. They would ask to, to or their demand, to go sit at the adults table and would take, you know, my mom's spot basically. And, and yeah, so it was actually really sad. And then, so, you know, my mom would even get to eat with them. She would have to, you know, basically get the, the rejects table, whatever. And then... And then after the meal, everyone would leave, but my mom would stay behind, be the only one to help clean up and everything too. Um, and so yeah, so we just never really spoke to our relatives just because, you know, they didn't really treat us like, uh, like family for the most part. It was, uh, I mean, it was kind of a little complicated, I guess. My dad was the, the first one to, to go to college. He also lived in the U.S., whereas, you know, the others mostly just stayed in Malaysia. Uh, we... My parents were, are Christian, whereas everyone else isn't, so that's why it's... A little weird over there so yeah so i as a kid i hated absolutely hated family gatherings of any kind it's miserable and so i remember when i you know because i wouldn't talk to my cousins as well and, and i remember when i first went to elementary school and then you know i have my friends tell me oh yeah you know i'm gonna go hang out at my cousin's place and wait Hang out because yeah, you know, we're gonna go play and we're gonna go watch a movie and like, what? Wait, you actually hang out with your cousins? I didn't know you could do that. Like I thought that you know you were just gonna like, There's this professional barrier. But nope, apparently Families don't have to be weirdly distant. How's it going, Olivia? Merry Christmas to you too. And Whisper Me a Try Hard. Merry Christmas as well. Christmas in Australia. Open up my presents. What did you get, Whisper Me a Try Hard? Also, yes, already Christmas in Spain. So I hope. Merry Christmas, Zambamon. I hope the Vernon Group buy will be a success. I hope that Hamon will be just as good as it looks as in the, the group buy will, will go smoothly when it happens it's gonna be my favorite red set for sure
subordinates. Yeah, I don't think I don't think that's the <laughs> that's the word I was looking for. zoomed out by the way I think that's fine right I was thinking maybe tomorrow I would do a Lego stream and then Maybe we'll have some people on Discord or something or on Skype. Oh no, we'll see. Cause yeah, uh, I'm thinking of building a bigger Lego set tomorrow, so it'll probably be a long stream. So look at that. Got a Christmas sock and a fireplace. Not a real one, of course. Not like the one back here. All I want for Christmas is a smooth goodbye for both of those projects. Well, I wish, I hope you, you get what you wish for. But you certainly have put in the, 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 the work though and the time and everything. So. Should be, should be all right. My God, <laughs> what have I done? So Zambon, what do you usually do for Christmas? Any traditions, any events, festivities lined up for tomorrow?
Someone says Christmas in Spain is like Thanksgiving for Americans. Start on the twenty second. The Christmas National Lottery. Christmas Eve we have dinner with the family. On Christmas we have lunch with the family and friends. We eat a lot of seafood. Oh my god. That sounds that sounds better than what we do here. See, that's that's what I don't like about being here in America, honestly. It's the holidays. I, I, People here, you know, they, they always have this idea of lazy Americans and everything. Americans are overworked, man. Honestly. You know, especially when it comes to things like holidays and stuff. Oh my god. Like, Yeah, see, work on the 24th and then go back on the 26th. Yes. It's terrible. Because, especially coming from Malaysia. Okay, so in 2018... We had, I think, it was more than 50 public holidays in Malaysia. So as in federal holidays. We had more than 50. Which of course is too much. I'm not saying we need that, that many. But, but yeah, definitely a very different culture. And you know, when it comes to holidays, we definitely don't just... We don't do the whole work. Oh, just the one day thing. Like, who the... F how is that even enjoyable? And especially if you have to travel and like that. It's just... No. It's awful. And... Um, and yeah, like Chinese New Year. The Chinese will try their best to have at least the whole week off. Um, and yeah, you definitely want to... Like, you know... The holiday isn't just one single day. No, Chinese New Year, we don't celebrate like like in China, though. China does it like a whole month long. We have to have almost nothing else to celebrate. We don't do a whole month, the whole whole month thing. We do official holidays. Typically, people get like three days off, two or three days off. School holidays, schools will try to, Chinese schools will try to apply for the whole week to be off. You have to do replacement days, though. So you have to go to school on Saturdays and stuff to, to make that up. So you try to get the whole week off. And then you still have some festivities uh, in, in the days following that, but not official holidays. So you probably still have to work. And then like on the ninth day, they will worship some god in the sky or whatever. And they'll offer uh, pork. They will do pork sacrifices, basically. And, and then on the 15th, so usually people celebrate. So the first day, second day, the first two days are the biggest. And then the Eve as well. So Chinese New Year Eve, you have the reunion dinner thing. And then Chinese New Year first day, you visit your relatives and stuff. For Chinese New Year, you get, you know, those red envelopes and stuff like that. And on the second day, typically it's for, you know, either your, 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 the, the, the wife's side of the family or whatever, you however you want to work it out or friends and stuff like that. And then... So on the sev on the ninth day, they will worship the, the sky god or whatever, and they'll burn pork at night. Uh, usually, yeah, at night, at midnight or something like that. And then on the fifteenth day of Chinese New Year, they will throw mandarin oranges into the river or lake or sea or whatever. Uh, it's a tradition that single women would toss mandarin oranges in hopes of finding a a dick basically a penis um, um, so what was I gonna say so yeah so but those days you know those are not real holidays anymore that's just part of festivities but people will be working after that after that week God says, get the 31st and first off, get straight back to work. Man, that's why That's why I I, I, I used to think, wow, you know, I would like working in a bank. And then when I found out, the dude, banks, oh my God. If you work in a bank, especially if you're not, uh, if, if you're just doing, you know, the, the, the starting positions. Oh my God. So few holidays. Christmas. Here's Christmas Day. You don't forget Christmas Eve. Oh, well, I guess you you get back from work, but yeah, you don't you don't get like a half day on Christmas Eve or whatever, like that. Example one says Christmas in Spain is a lot longer. Is it over up until the six? 
That sounds amazing. Alex says, I can't wait for all the food. So Alex, do you do like standard Christmas food or what do you do? Alex says, our friends are working tomorrow at retail gigs, God bless. True heroes. Yeah, and there are people who, 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 who do appreciate, you know, uh, especially people who who don't have either don't have anything going on or unfortunately just don't have families to return to then you know it, some of them really do actually appreciate being able to work on, on, on Christmas and New Year and stuff like that get that OT Alex says, I want to go somewhere where there's a holiday festival. That would be great. See, it's so funny, right? Back home, we had so many holiday festivals. Everything was a fucking just... Holidays and, you know, religious festivals all the time. And parades and shit. And then there's nothing here. People just... There's just... None of that. You have the Macy's Parade. But come on, that's some corporate shit. That's not. Jamon says, 24th, 25th, 31st, New Year, January 5th, a holiday. January 6th is when kids open their presents. Traditionally, not more kids. Oh. Oh, see, I've never heard of that. God says, we just need a universal four-day work week. Oh, my God, yes. Four-day work week is the way to go. Three day weekends, please. Yeah, because just having two days is just. You can't really do anything. You can't really get a rest. You can't say, so like, you can't even just. You know, imagine if you have three days. Three day weekends. You can just fly somewhere Thursday night or Friday morning. Come back on Sunday, refreshed. You could go for a camping trip. You know, perfect. You could go visit relatives or friends. Whereas when it's just Saturday and Sunday, you do something on Saturday like, fuck, it's Sunday tomorrow. Yeah, definitely not fun. Not fun at all. I love you. Sleep sin. Three months in a row. Thank you so much for the tier one sub. Really appreciate it. Did you get the the board in? How is it? Access food. Want to marry a chick who wastes food like that? Oh, like throwing the mandarin oranges? Yeah, I don't know, man. I've never done it. I've never watched people do it as well. What I'm missing. Oh my god. I'm... I'm actually missing a piece. I don't think Lego fucked up. I think I just have no idea where it went. I really do not know where it went. Looking for another one of these. So these things. If you spot it, let me know, because I don't see it. I must be blind. I really, really don't see it. Oh, oh my god, I'm so dumb. I thought they wanted two of these. Lol. Yes, I'm actually dumb. It's like, wow, that's so weird. Why would they have one in the bottom and two on the top? Vlog says working a day and a half this week. Twenty six going to be just sitting there talking to coworkers as our manufacturer in Germany shut down. See, that's why you want to work for international places. If if you uh, you know anything international, because then when it comes to holiday season, like 
Well, no, you know, we can't do anything because people outside America are not going to be working. Whoops. Whereas if your job is mostly just things that, that are, you know, like you don't deal with anything international, then you're kind of fucked because you're just expected to work like normal. Oh, Zambon, your brother is in the medical field. Alex says, half my family is Chinese, other half Spanish Argentinian. Both grandparents live in California too. So we just get together and there's food on both from both sides. Oh my god, that sounds amazing. Sounds pretty good. Do they do kind of the same food every year or is, like, is there any kind of tra traditional things that you bring as a traditional to your family? Not necessarily, you know, traditional by American standards. God says the more corporate, the more American it is. Unfortunately, so. Surly Brick, welcome to the stream. This is a great set. Yes, I actually really like it. Look at the look at the hinge. It actually works so well. Look at that. Is, this is so nice. The colors are so nice. I really like the colors. So I like this. What, what did you call this green? This isn't sage. This is not olive. What would you call this green? This isn't a mint either. What would you call this green? Because it's the, it's the same color on the Lego Statue of Liberty. And I really like this this color and of course you've got maroon or burgundy burgundy I guess yeah burgundy maroon is a bit more purple right oops yeah you've got burgundy and then you've got this teal you've got this Tiffany blue you've got this color over here as well it's like a light blue you've got this like a, yeah, I don't know the official ter the official Lego things for it. You've got, of course, just the beige and then this color. I really like this color. Like a mocha coffee kind of color. Like I said, I didn't have the typical cuisine growing up. I first tried meatloaf when I was 15. Peanut butter and jelly sandwiches when I was 10. I didn't try... Well, I, yeah. I didn't try... American peanut butter and jelly until until I got to America and I did not try meatloaf until I got to America Corporations are people too ah, Spoken like a true patriot This is definitely my favorite color of the set though. This is so nice this Tiffany blue color Seafoam mint. Yeah, I, I've seen them call it sand green, but I don't like it because like, what do you mean sand green? Yeah, I saw that on, I, I, I saw that on Brick Link as well. Because uh, which set was it that I was looking at? It wasn't this set, I was looking at some other set. Uh, oh, it was the Lego Brick Bank, which I also have. And that one I'm really excited for. I haven't decided what to build tomorrow yet, I'm thinking. So I have either that or the Capital State Building. I should just put the Lego sets out here, right? I should just do that. Oh boy. Oh boy. Let's see. I've got the, the brick bank. I don't know if I want to do it tomorrow yet. I really like this set though.
got the Capitol State, no, the Capitol Building, United States Capitol Building. We've got the old fishing store. You can kind of see a theme here. I told you I really like the green. You can see that all these sets have that green. Statue of Liberty and the Great Wall of China as well as the Eiffel Tower. Got the Saturn V as well. Maybe I should do this tomorrow. Well, no, I, I want something. I want something. I want one of the creator sets tomorrow. I, think. I don't know. We'll but yeah, and I have the Detective's Office too. That one I don't know if I want to keep it or sell it. I don't know. Options. I don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow yet. I'm not decided. Yeah, so that's going to be fun. Yes, yeah, Saturn 5. It was on sale on Black Friday. I didn't get it during Black Friday, but. Killer deal on Black Friday. Hey, PC Low Letter! How was dinner? Did your parents like the food? Is it a good time? Simpson says, first impressions, bit too tacked house, slightly too light. Getting used to it. I wonder, I wonder how the spring weights would, would affect the tactility, honestly, because I, I don't know. I, I felt a bit, it definitely was too tactile, but I don't know if a heavier or lighter spring would help me. I don't know. Because lighter would make the bump also sharper, right? So, I don't even know. Alex says, one side always does a bird. Other side picks a different meat. This year, the eastern side will do fish. And I'm telling you, man. If it's seafood, if it's fish, the eastern side will do a better job. In general. Ribeye rose turned out really well. I'm stuffed. That's good. Any leftovers for tomorrow or is that why you're stuffed? <laughs> Just, I'm not keeping any leftovers. Yeah, look at this set. It's so cool. And this was free. Well, free. We had ah, like half of it. Oh, nice. So are you going to cook anything else tomorrow? Or are you just going to, is that like all you're going to eat tomorrow? Surly Brick, thank you so much for the host. We appreciate it. Do you stream as well? I let's see. My mouse, come on. Oh yeah, you do. Oh my god, you got the winter village. I almost bought that set. I I was really close to buying it. Oh my god, you got the Lego train? Is that the Lego train set? Oh, that was a... Yes, you had the Lego train set. Oh my god. Oh my god. We were just talking about model trains. 
Now I am, and I'm a bit biased, but I think that when it comes to model trains, you want it in Lego form. <laughs> but yeah, so for those of you who do like Lego, definitely check out Surly Bricks channel over here. If this works. And that'll slowly eat it over the course of many days. Yeah. Toast some bread, put it on a sandwich. Oh, this is the tree. Something ain't right. What? Silly Brick says, for a moment I thought there was some crazy tiny gas furnace behind you. Oh yeah, no. Yeah, it is. It's just, it's just a monitor. My old fishing store is so bad. I've been F5ing the Lego page, waiting for it to come back. Yeah, I got it I got it quite a, a long time ago, actually. It's just been sitting in my closet. Uh, I got it from Walmart of all places, Walmart online for 115, I want to say 110, 110. It was around 110 before tax. And it was even cheaper from that crazy Barnes and Noble sale. And And then it was how much was it on Black Friday? Was it even available on Black Friday? And what it was another sale after Barnes and Noble. There was another sale. There are three big sales for it basically. Three times when it was either 110 or lower than 110. And yeah, the Saturn V was what, 80 bucks on Black Friday? 80 bucks. I've got the Christmas tree over here. Ooh, got some lights. Center 5 is cool. Company I work for built it. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Who do you work for? Wait, wait, wait. Do you mean like they built the Lego set or do you mean like they, they built the Saturn 5? Hold up. Hold up. What? Dude, you gotta tell us more about this. And then God says, James Bond, Aston Martin. Oh, have you not seen the DB5? I thought you've seen it already. Yeah. Cause I, th hold on. Yeah, cause I can't remember if I I took a picture. I remember I I definitely saw it in store. We built the Saturn Five. Oh wow. 
Look at you. You fucking plebs just building a Lego set of the Saturn V. We built the actual Saturn V. So are you gonna get the Saturn V then? Wait for the next sale. The company store might have it. Well, it's a, it's a great set. The, the best part, of course, my personal favorite part of the set is of course the fact that it has a hun it has 1969 pieces just one of those like it's, it's fun very fun chewy how's it going then he says all right go to bed merry christmas Deming dick i hope you have a great christmas you and your family all your loved ones and drive safe as well if 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 you don't see you until you have to drive back So God, are you going to get the DB5 then? PC Loader says, I'm in Southern California. I visited Southern California because God used to be there. Southern California, LA is in Southern California, right? Yes, yes, it should be, yes. Uh, Yeah, I went there earlier this year. Well, shit, it's been nine months, hasn't it? It's insane. Maybe if I would be cool, that's my favorite AM. See, if I had known that, I honestly might have sent one your way. I did not know that. I didn't know that you liked the, the DB5. Chibi says, do you like flavored popcorn? Depends. I will say that I have not had great popcorn in America. And this isn't one of those, oh, it's just nostalgia. No, like the, when my, my, so my brother's wife is. white American and when she went to Malaysia and had the popcorn there just at the just at the theater just at the cinema just mind blown it's like what how is your popcorn so much better I feel like yeah we we were just as shocked and we went to the when we when we went to we came to America except it was how the fuck do you fuck up popcorn yeah we're just, uh, even caramel popcorn here, most of the time it's lame. They don't put enough caramel. The, the coating is just, they just skimp on that stuff. Yeah, so I guess it depends. Making dessert popcorn. Oh, nice. Sure, might as well. If you have extra, why not? I'll be, I'll be streaming most of tomorrow, I think. I don't know yet. I, I have not planned out my day tomorrow. Now we are making the lid. Mr. CoQ, Merry Christmas to you too. For whom may I ask? This one? This one's for me, I guess. I, I did give this because I got two of these. 
free sets because I, I made two purchases over hundred dollars the other one I gave to my mom back home I gave her this I gave her uh, the Brickheads Mr. and Mrs. Claus I gave her some other sets some other small sets and then yeah with this so I sent it back with a friend to Malaysia uh, but this one I am keeping for myself I guess I mean I'm assembling it now so I guess it's for me Is your mom like Lego? No, uh, see, she. That, that's a that, that's a good question. She does not. That was the first time anyone's ever bought her Lego. She used to buy us Lego when we were growing up. You know, that was all we would ask for Lego or some sort of. You know, I, I was just mentioning it to my brother today. You know, when, when I was younger, you know, what did I want? I just wanted Lego sets and then. encyclopedias you know books about aquatic life or insects or, or weird ass shit like that that was all I would ask for I remember my one of my favorite gifts was uh, I, I got I was first in my class for because uh, back home we we actually rank all the students so yeah I was first in my class and then so I still remember my, my mom bought me this uh, Illustrated encyclopedia, kind of like an encyclopedia, kind of like a, so it's just a book about animals. It's a thick ass book about animals, huge book. And yeah, that was that was one of my favorite gifts ever. Uh, but other than that, yeah, it was just Lego. And so she would buy us Lego growing up. She never bought her play, you know, having any. She would, she used to confiscate our Lego if we did not behave well. All right, no more Lego. Uh, and of course, we would still we would go into their room and take the Lego out and um, and so yeah this is the first time anyone ever bought her Lego she I figured you know if she wants to con collect any sort of knickknacks or any kind of decorations might as well be Lego right and it's just kind of because uh, I, I told her I told her that you know oh if you like some of these she was showing me her Avengers collections of these figurines that was, that was like a free thing so kind of like those Pop Funko figures, but these are free with some rewards program. And so she showed me she had a full collection of, of the, the whole series. I said, oh, if you, you know, have these collections, you I might as well buy you some Lego because Lego is not going to go out of style for a long, long, long time. And it's the perfect thing to pass it down. You know, you don't feel like you're wasting money. You don't feel like you're just tossing money away because you can always pass it down to someone else or give it away because uh, they will, you know, they're not going to go bad. They're not going to break easily anything like that and so yeah so I bought her some Lego sets and uh, so it was funny she so she could some some of the sets were a bit too complicated for her or the parts were just kind of too tiny and so she had uh, my younger sister and my younger brother put put some of the sets together for her so I got her a sunflower a tiny little sunflower set as well as this really tiny sunflower set because uh, that's her favorite flower Yeah, there was another Valentine's set as well. So I guess that's she, she's gonna put that up during Valentine's Day or something. So, but no, normally no, she she <laughs> she does not. Build or play with Lego. Yeah, she even went to the Lego store when I told her that you know Lego's doing a lot of good work these days and there's a lot of cool stuff. So what? I didn't know. Yeah, she she really liked the the double decker set, but then she saw the price in Mal in Malaysia. And I was like, oh my god, yeah, there's no way we can get that. And no problem, Shirley Brick. Thank you for the host. So a bit of Christmas for Anthony. That's fair. Yes, pretty much yes. I mean this. These Lego sets I bought on Black Friday, pretty much my Christmas gifts to myself. Just tiny, how's it going? Making dinner, so I have Cade. No problem, what did you, what did you get? I hope you had something better than what I had. I had some weird ass chicken spaghetti. I did not enjoy it. It was super mushy and just kind of, ugh.
He said, oh, it says, my mom is retired, divorced, and he buys her, my friend's mom, and he buys her the giant Lego sets to build. She's really into it. Yeah, see, I think eventually, that's my hope that she would just do that. So, you know, the, the next thing about Lego is that it makes gift buying so incredibly easy. And it's timeless. Like, that's that's honestly the, the best part. It's, it's, it's being timeless. At least, you know, for the time being. There's just so much staying power. Yeah, and, and I think that too, anyone who, like my brother was out buying gifts for relatives today I was, and he was like man you know I have to buy gifts for you know, <laughs> I have to buy gifts for so and so's kids and blah 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 he's like why do these people why can't these people just stop reproducing and I said you know, he's, and he was thinking oh yeah but you know what kind of toys should I buy them blah blah dude you gotta just stop buying weird ass shit and just buy them lego sets like just oh it's a daughter buy the and you know she, she's into more girly things buy her the 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 Lego Women on NASA set. You know why not you say, "Oh, you're trying to inspire, you're trying to inspire their daughter." Oh, is that it? A little extra parts. The little train. So the train just kind of just floats, I guess. The guy is gonna. Yakisoba, oh my god, I want some yakisoba. I did have some chicken curry rice for lunch though, so that was nice. I got my Chinese food or Asian food fix for the day. Yeah, okay, so this is probably my least favorite part about it. The, the fact that the train just kind of, there's nowhere to really attach it. It just kind of just... is there and I think that's it for this set look at that see the train just kind of it's just there look at that so pretty cool perfect uh Christmas gift or decoration, super cool. Thanks, Kanye. Very cool. And see, so it's got these four little bits over here. Look at that. It's incredible. This little Christmas gift box. Of course, you got that little train in this. Mr. Kokyu. Do I call you Kokyu or can I call you Mr. Cock? If you'd like me to insert a big somewhere in there, I can do that too. I'm from Denmark where it's made. So I know all about Lego. I haven't played much creative much myself. I was more into sports, but what a brand Lego today. Holy cow. Yes. I, I really want to go to Denmark. Actually, January 15th is when they will release a basically the Dota TI8 the movie kind of it's like celebrating the champions of TI8 it's a, it's a Dota tournament and the one of the champions is a Dane and so they're releasing it in a theater in Denmark pretty cool and so I was like man now I want to go to Denmark even more first of all it was just the Lego and then now it's Oh, like a rooster. Yes, the the animal. Of course, that's exactly what we're talking about. He says, "My five-year-old 
niece only likes the Lego friend set. I begrudgingly bought buy them for her. Oh my god. Yes. Yeah, so I, I, I finally did buy a Lego friend set. I, I felt the same way. I, was, I felt so dirty clicking that buy button. Because there's the flower set, that sunflower. It was a Lego friends. Wait. Yeah. It was a Lego friends. Uh, so it's part of the Lego friends series. Yeah. I did not feel right buying that. But I didn't have any other figures. So I, there's the figures that I can't stand. Those weird oh. Mr. Mr. Cox says it's beautiful here. Oh, I bet it is. I bet it's absolutely beautiful. The sign says OMG is so cute. Yes, it's so nice this thing. Look at that. It's the perfect thing to just set on a coffee table somewhere. You know when you have people over for Christmas, <laughs> which I don't. Look at that. I need a way to, I need some way to... There just needs to be a way to attach this fucking train because it's just... So annoying. It's... Well, whatever. But yeah, so check this out. This is the set I just put together. See, so it's 11.40, no, yeah, 43 or so p.m. over there. So it's supposed to be the night before Christmas, I'm assuming. Either that or it's, it's 11.43 a.m. And I just completely made the previous part up. I don't know. Who knows? It could be whatever you want it to be. Stick it down in dialectic grease. You know what? Maybe I should just put some blue tack on here. Where's my blue tack? Damn it. Oh, no, 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 no. Mr. Cock, I don't mean it's 11.43 a.m. here. I mean that in, in this set, look at that. There's a clock over here. It says 11.43. Yeah. You are drunk as hell. How can it be 11.43 anywhere in the world right now? That's not how time zones work. <laughs> You see the little letter says, trying to slowly sneak in the normal sets. Yeah, like I said, the... The NASA... Um, Women on NASA set is... A nice... Gateway drug kind of set. Hey, look at that. You don't even really see the blue tack because this piece is teal. Look at that. extra parts I need to ten plus hours no 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 see Mr. Cox see here's the thing here's the thing this is why you definitely have had too much to drink time zones happen in hours so if it's 518 where you are, there's no way it's going to be 43 anywhere. 
There's no way it's gonna be 43 anywhere in the world. So it could be 48, maybe. 43 though, with 25 minutes? Maybe not, oh, is it 25? 20, yeah. No, 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 but 25 though. Is it 25? Am I doing my math wrong? Hold on. 25 and 35, right? Hold on. It's late over here. <laughs> yeah, don't worry about it, dude. <laughs> Yup, he says the swapping the switches in a poker sound like a bad idea for a beginner solderer. Yes. These soldering is not easy. I would just buy a kit to work on then then risk damaging anything. Mr. Cox says eleven till now is way possible if it was eleven at evening. Uh, no, I'm talking about the minutes, I'm not talking about the hours, I'm talking about the minutes, Mr. Cock. The minutes, the minutes! <laughs> so you've got someone really tired you've got someone drunk as hell so god what about, what about the db5 did you did you buy it already i don't know if i like the the wind the the vesta set it's overpriced though, $200, not worth it at all. The Mini Cooper, the Beetle, and the Volkswagen, are the camper, the van are nice as well. The creator sets are just so nice. I, I was so close to buying the Big Ben. I was super close to buying the Big Ben. <laughs> 